Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Grey. This is your host, as always, William Neo. When last we met, we found a note in this room. And we found a key as well. We still don't have any weapons of which to defend ourselves, though. But that door did open on by itself, if you remember. Uh huh. Can I exit yet? Not. That's disappointing. I already checked all these places, didn't I? Sorry if I don't remember. I'm just fresh off the the boat, so to say. I don't know what that means. Anyway, <laughs> continuing. There are noises. Let me get a drink of water before I undergo this. Let's approach his ass. Or he could disappear like that. I'm expecting a jump scare. I'm just, I swear, I'm expecting it. First aid. Can't use it. I forgot what I needed this key for. I wish there was a way to. I should go to the repair shop. Boss should be there. Yeah. Ooh, I can say something here now. Last year, when I got out of the halfway house, the streets were much cleaner. But it was now. Now it's just Chinese takeout everywhere. We all know what we know about Chinese takeout. I don't know what we know about Chinese takeout, to be honest. Can I open this? Nope. Oh, uh, what about this? Can this be opened with the key? Oh, it can. Okay, found the way to go. Can I please close this door? Can I? Uh, all right, doors closed automatically. Over time, being very creepy about it. Not that closing a door would stop any monster or anything like that. I swear, knowing this game. Actually, I don't know this game. This game so far hasn't been really scary. It's just been extremely creepy. So I guess we'll see a change of heart in today's episode. Nope, probably not. Just gonna still be creepy. Mom? Why did I say mom? Unless I'm afraid for my mom. Mom? Whoa, I know Kung Fu. What's the point of that room? Another hidey spot? Is that a hidey spot? Or is those mob spawner rooms? Because if I know video games, and I do, then there's going to be some shit popping off here real soon. Like within the next minute or so. I should put a timer on screen. Just to show them right. Lovely little apartment. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. Picture of an owl. I wouldn't count that as fucked up or... Or I don't know. What did I say? Things are going to get real crazy or something? I don't know. That doesn't count for the timer. It's a wallet and a key on what appears to be an ottoman. Scratch my face. What do you die from? This key is labeled for the back exit. I've got to hurry. Well, key is labeled for back exit. Why would I want to leave? Aren't I supposed to be like finding my home, my parents? You know, I'm supposed to be like Robin Williams here, like, Mom, Dad, I'm home. Uh, there is absolutely jack shit in this house. <laughs> Besides from ooh. And I hope that piece by Ian Wees got your emotions all stirred up. I know I did. So, for you who just tuned in, you are listening to Fenster Local Radio. And I'm your host, DJ Akashus. We are in the middle of the classical hour here at Fenster Local Radio. And next up is Stieg Sutangen with his rendition of Jai Bär den Hot som er vil by Christian Sinding. Jag är 
Okay. Ottomans, air vents, pictures, chairs, stuff. Well, whatever happened to that creepy thing? I kind of wanted to slap a bitch. Okay, now the big question. Where is the back exit to this place? <laughs> Fix the light fixtures. Uh, there's nothing in here, like I said, and like I discovered. Man, I really wish I had a sprint. Okay. I don't know if what I just heard was in real life, or if it was in the game. <laughs> if it was in the game, that's creepy. If it was in real life, that's creepy. Wait, back exit. Nice. Figured it out all on my own. I'd made my way through the majority of Block 12 as I scratched my armpit. I continued on, determined to find someone or something. Maybe a stick of deodorant. Up ahead was a construction site, abandoned some time ago. The decrepit shells of half-built buildings stood around me. The hairs on the back of my neck began to rise. And in my armpits. I felt like I was being watched. By some kind of armpit monster. Uh, this is a creepy alley. Stools. Okay. If I was here, alone, I'd feel like I was being watched too. Just putting it out there. Authorized personnel only my ass. What happened here? They're like setting up for some like big epic thing. That's about to go down. Kinda want that chain. You know, I'll turn to that guy from uh, Drunken Master too. Well, hitting your head against it won't do much. <laughs> no, that's not gonna work. I spy with my little eye our first weapon. I can swing that surprisingly fast for you know a giant pipe. Okay. This place isn't creepy at all. Come here. Come here. Okay. Maybe not. Toolbox. Do not cross. For what reason? If you insist on lagging behind, you may not need to volunteer. What the fuck happened in here? I mean, it looks like fire damage, but... Ooh, what is that? No, really, what are those? I must get through the building site to the damn repair shop. <laughs> Did he ever tell me an inventory key or anything like that? Because, man. I don't know. Oh well. I don't know what I just picked up. Haha. Haha. -ha. I'm just breaking shit for the fun of it. I really don't think I should be here. I really don't think I should be too. But I wanted to stay back in those lovely apartments where we didn't find anything. <laughs> okay, those noises are in real life, which is creepy. What's up here? Waluigi time! Some chains. Uh. Haha, <laughs> boxes. Wonder what's in there. That is something. Hello? Are you man or machine? You are a doll. A mannequin. Half boy, half lady parts. That is incredibly creepy. And not like lady parts, as in like, you know, lady parts, but like. Lady. <laughs> I hate this game. Just made my shit list. Getting out of here! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Made a big mistake going down there. 
gonna have those things following me until Timbuk fucking too. Okay. Let's get out of here. Cause you know, air vent, great idea. said it once, I'll say it again, fear has taught me to never go in air vents, even though Half-Life encourages it, encourages, yes, you heard me, ugh, okay, nothing back there, okay, we're good, we're good, for now, uh, come on, I'm like criming on the rafters, criming on the rafters, I can't even talk anymore, I'm so strung out from those things. Broken. I have a feeling this one breaks if you walk across it. Maybe, just maybe. Just put it out there. That's why I took the offbeat path. Nothing back there. Oh, okay. Underneath the house slash building. I don't know why my flashlight was just chunking out right there. Hope it wasn't... Yeah, I don't have a flashlight meter. If there is one... I just heard something back there. Creeped me out. I'm not enjoying this. Not in the least bit. Not one bit. Not since those dolls, man. Yep, not going that way. Not for a little bit. I was half expecting like a dead guy to be in the trash can. <laughs> uh, exit. Looks like I found the way out. Thank fucking god. You know, I was really hoping. I closed the building for the working hours. I don't want strangers walking around. If you want to leave for something, the key is on the top of my locker. The caretaker. You're fucking kidding, right? If I find that caretaker, <laughs> I'm gonna beat his ass with a pipe. Tell you what. <sighs> that means I have to crawl through this shit again. Go back into the creepy part of this house, this place. Mm -hmm. Is this a locker room? Uh huh. We're good. We're not good. We're not going down there. Never. Never in a million years. Okay, dead end. Lovely. Oh, maintenance. I feel like... Oh, lockers. Yes. I guess there was a key on top of it. Ha <laughs> uh, <laughs> Not happy that I found that. I am, but I'm not. Because... <laughs> If you've played horror games, you know why I would not be happy in finding that. Because that means they can throw something at you now that you've succeeded at something. It's a, a weird mentality, but trust me, it works in this universe. Man, I should start sprinting out of this fucking place. This apartment is creepy. Cluster of imposing masonry and dark alleyway finally gave way to the familiar lights of the city. After catching my breath, I instinctively began walking towards work. I was looking for help, lacking any other options. Wait, I was walking towards work? Let's hope I work at like a Home Depot or something. No, that's too big. Let's hope I work at like a Starbucks or something. Wait, there's no weapons in there. Never mind. Even in the brighter lights of the street, shadows seemed to be creeping around the edge of my vision, my imagination turning them into horrific distortions of otherworldly menace. Menace. I felt hemmed in, as if something were directing me down a path I did not necessarily want to tread. Huh. So I'm hallucinating. Lovely. Or at least my guy thinks I am. That is awesome. Anyways, this will be the end of today's episode of Grey. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you next time. This has been your host, as always, Winio. Bye-bye.